Now let's take a look on beams and columns. I know those are tools that you're probably gonna use in the early stage of the project, but I wanted to show you when we actually have some composites on the model. So let's start with the beams. Beams are pretty straightforward. You draw them as you would draw a wall. You draw segments, and if they touch, they will join. But let's take a look on the settings of a beam. So I'm gonna select one beam, go to the settings dialog, and here we can specify the height of the beam. We can also tell what is the level of the top of the beam in relation to the current story. We can also choose the shape of the beam from rectangular to complex profile. So we can choose from one of our profiles. You can also choose the size of the beam, the material. So I can change this one to concrete structural. You can have the beam horizontal or inclined by a certain angle. I'm gonna keep this one horizontal. When you're editing the beam in the floor plan, and if I click in one of the lines here, ARCHICAD will give me the option to add a node, make a curve, but also give me the option to insert a hole to the beam. And here we can choose what is the shape of this hole, if you want it square or round, what's the dimension, and how high it is from the top of the beam. So let's make it a little bit lower and how this beam will look in the plan. So I'm gonna change it to this one and press OK. So now you have a hole that you can move around and make sure all your pipes go through. And if we look at it in 3D, you have the hole there. So let's delete this beam. We don't really need them here. And let's take a look on the columns. So columns, same thing, very straightforward. If we go to the settings here, we can just like a wall, choose the distance from the current floor to the next floor, if you want. Also the shape of the column, if you want a square or round or a complex profile, I will keep this one square. You can change the dimensions. So let's make it a little bit smaller and you can lock those dimensions if you want to. You can change the material. I'm also gonna change to concrete structural. If you want, you can have another skin around the beam. For instance, you may want to have a insulation all around. Just make sure you tell ARCHICAD if this is a core, finish, or other. I'm not gonna have it right now, so I'm gonna switch it off. You can have a vertical or inclined beam at certain angle. I'm gonna keep it vertical. And then finally, you can tell the beam to detect the finishes of the wall and wrap it around. We're gonna take a look at this in a little bit. So let's go ahead and press OK. And to insert the column, you just click, and there we go, we have a column in our floor plan. And I can select, Control D, move it around, so let's position here. And ARCHICAD will automatically remove the material from the walls to make sure it has room for the beam. So if I click on this beam, go back to the settings and choose this wrapping method, you will notice that the beam will automatically detect the finish and wrap around. It's a very clever solution, but it doesn't look really good here for this project, so I'm gonna switch it off. Before you start adding beams and columns to your project, I would recommend you to create one layer for them. So I'm gonna go to the Control L and let's insert a new layer for the beams and another layer for the columns. So the columns, I do want to see them on the plans detail, approval, preliminary, drafting, pretty much everywhere. Mechanical structure, rendering, yes. But the beams, I don't really wanna see them everywhere. I wanna see them on rendering, but I think they get a little bit too on the way when you're doing a plan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to 05 plans detailed Let's hit new, so we make sure we're copying the same layer combination. And I will create the 05.1 called sections detailed. So on this new layer combination, yes, I wanna see the structural beams. And let's go and update this guy. So we have the columns that is on everywhere, but the beams is on only on the section detail. So I'm gonna press okay. Now I'm gonna change this beam to the layer structural beams and this column to the layer structural columns. Good. 
So right now, when we are doing detailed plan, I will be using the layer combination O5 plans, which doesn't show me the beams. But when I move to a section or elevation, I'm going to be using the O5.1 or when I want to edit those beams as well, I'm going to use this layer combination so I see them. So go ahead and do create all the columns and the beams for the project. 